Hi, I'm Iris Fritz, and I'm a math instructor with the Gateway Program, housed in the Elfman Student Success Center at Dunwoody College of Technology. I'd like to welcome you today to learn how to make 12 formulas out of two formulas using Ohm's Law. What I'd like to do now is to develop the remaining six formulas by using the two main formulas that we have, and I'm going to use one version of the formula to substitute into another. So this will come, of course, together as we're working on this. Let's get started and see what happens. It's kind of fun. If you're asked to solve for P given I and R. Now I want you to notice we know that P equals I times E. So you may feel at first held back because you don't have enough information to work with, or do we? And actually we do. Because what we want to do is we want to take what we are given, we want to use what we know and substitute it into the equation so that we can solve for P given I and R. Well, this is what we know. We know that E equals I times R. And if we're given I and we're given R, can't we substitute it into the formula? So let me go ahead and do that. I have P equals I times Another way to write E is as I times R. I'm going to substitute it into my formula, and I'll put it in another color so you can see it. And if we do this, this simplifies into P equaling I times I is I squared times R. Remember, this is straight multiplication here. And when we have something times itself, we can write it as a square with an exponent. Another formula from that pie wheel. Now let me go over here and take this formula that we just derived using current and resistance and let's solve for resistance. Let's solve for R. If I know that P equals I squared R, and I want to solve for R, what's in my way right now? This I squared. I don't want it there. The opposite operation is to divide. I'm going to divide both sides by I squared. And when I do that, this cancels and shifts over to the left side of the equation. So I have P over I squared, and this allows me to solve for R. Another equation on your pie chart. And let's now take the same equation and let's use that equation to help us solve for I. Given that P equals I squared R, let's use this again to solve for I. Now think ahead of time. If you look at I, notice there are two operations that are affecting I. You have multiplication and then you have a square. So we're using opposite operations. Again, this is very much like I have a knot that's tied up and I want to start to unravel this so I can isolate and solve for a missing piece. So if I want to solve for I, there are going to be two operations that we're going to have to use to help us grab a hold and get I by itself. Let's play it out. I have P is equal to I squared R. The first thing that we want to get out of the way here, if you will, is R. The opposite operation is to divide by what I want to move over. I want to get this R out of the way. What I do to one side of the equation, I must do to the other to keep it equal. And when I do this, this cancels and shifts over. And so on the left side of the equation now, and always write a clean version of what you've got, because you can get very lost 
within this if you don't. We want to keep it nice and clean. Now, we're almost there. We want to get I by itself. Look and see what the operation is. It's a square operation. And if you remember, the opposite of squaring is to take its square root. So I'm going to take the square root of this side. And what I do to one side of the equation, I have to do to the other to keep this equal. And what this does for us is it gives us a new form. I'm going to try and get that up on my board. But a new form being, and I'll bring it over here. So right now where we are is we have the square root of p divided by r equaling the square root. Now remember, we just took this operation, opposite operation. So here's where we're at. And what this does for us is taking the square root of something being squared cancels that operation out. So on the left side, I have the square root of p divided by r. On the right side, I now have solved for i, another one of our formulas.